I got a ride or die So today is in fact a little bit of a sad day, it's a weird one. As you can see from the title, the truck has sold like literally straight away. So it's crazy, I've I've, I don't think I've had something that sold that quickly. So, oh, look at the key, I I've said this multiple videos, look at the key, it's like a like a garden shed key, so funny. 70s engineering right there from Dodge. Anyway, the key's off the keys. Weird feeling taking that off. All right, let's get her started and warmed up. It's always nice when you sell a car that it goes to someone that actually is going to care for it and understands what it is uh, from the face value more than anything. I had a few inquiries, obviously, you know, this thing. Um, I think when I actually sold it, it was up at like 30,000 views on eBay and I think it had like 200 watches or over 200 watches, which is insane. So I had a lot of people, unfortunately, messing me about us, you know, just the life of selling cars that's just how it is so we had a lot of people that were messing about um a lot of part exchanges as well um but nothing that i really wanted obviously for a build for the channel for the next sort of uh, couple of years or whatever so nothing really caught my eye in the part exchange um sort of scenario of selling this thing because i did initially put it up for part exchange for something that was around a thousand pound plus you know money on top um, and then I sort of said, well, let me know how much you want to put on top and what car it is and we can sort of work a deal out. But yeah, nothing really came to, to light that was worth it, in my opinion. So, cash sale was agreed, which was good. And I think that was the right way to go around it, because again, you know, from the last video, although I sort of said what brand I was going to be buying, I'm not really sure what car to go for. So, yeah, still a weird thing. We're going to focus on the truck today, though, because... Yeah, last day, it's weird because I, I, I lust um, after my Cadillac a lot. And this, although I've loved ownership, we'll see if I lust after a pickup truck. It's one of those things I wanted to tick and I've loved my time with this. But I do think um, putting my other cars on a pedestal has meant that I didn't necessarily love this as much in a weird way. I've loved ownership, but yeah. It's a weird scenario, very, very weird scenario. Classic car ownership is weird. If you've ever had one, you'll sort of understand, I think. <laughs> Here's the super weird part, though. I've never actually sold a car and put it on a trailer. And that's what's happening today. So the owner has actually already bought this. Um, we've done, you know, Facebook chat and video call and all that sort of business. So showed him everything he needs to know about this thing. And... Yeah, it goes on the back of a trailer in, you know, sort of half an hour, an hour's worth. So, yeah, really weird scenario because I've never actually done this. I want to sort of document it more than anything because I've never actually sold anything online um, to someone. Had a good chat, you know, as face to face as it gets during, uh, you know, we're not in lockdown now. This is after lockdown. You know, it's uh, three or four days after the actual initial lockdown is sort of not necessarily over, but they're telling you to stay in, but don't stay in, blah, blah. Um, so, you know, essential travel and all that, 
it's not a central travel to go and buy a car i don't think so we made the decision you know jointly to actually get this thing trailered up to him so yeah really weird thing to do though i i, I just want to document this that it's 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 so weird to buy or sell a car on the internet it's just still really weird that you don't get to meet the person that's going to enjoy this thing that's going to you know drive it around with their kids in it and that's a little bit weird for me because usually i meet the person and chat to them and have a laugh and stuff yeah really really strange but we're going to wait for one of my mates uh, to come with his trailer, uh, the guy that I use for everything, basically. And uh, yeah, she goes. Weird feeling. Just giving the keys over to one of my mates to take it to someone. <laughs> the V5 and everything. So strange. But yeah, we'll have a last check of the car just to make sure everything's happy. Uh, make sure I've got everything out of it. And then, yeah, it can go to its new uh, owner, which is going to be so weird. Final visual check, um, you know, just because I want to make sure everything is happy. I took it for a drive sort of yesterday, just to make sure it was all as it should be. And it drove lovely, sound system on, absolutely loving life in it. I was going to take all the stickers off and that, but the guy was like, no, nope, leave the stickers on. So happy with that. He can sort of uh, decide what he wants to do sticker wise with it all. Maybe rip them all off. Maybe not. Put different wheels on it, maybe not. He did already say that he'd bought stuff for it, which is really, really just surreal. So yeah, sorry guys, just the, like I'm cr creating content about this day, but I'm not really sure what the context is because it's just a really weird scenario when you sell a car. Especially something that's like old and you've enjoyed so much and stuff, it's really weird. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll wait for my mate to come and then yeah, we'll get her going on the back of the trailer. Last little look inside. <sighs> weird. Weird, weird, weird. There it is guys, all uh, strapped up, they're all in there, we've just double checked everything, <sighs> weird experience again selling your truck, <laughs> it's so weird, but yeah, there she goes, insane, goodbye truck.
Thank you.